When saying until death do us part at a wedding, no one expects to lose their partner soon afterwards, but unfortunately, death can strike unexpectedly at any time. Welcome to Gemini Blessed TV, and today we're going to be showing 8 celebrities who are widows. If you're new to the channel, we publish new videos every week, so hit the subscribe button to stay notified. Number 1. Tolo Machaba Soloma Chaba is a South African actress best known for her role as Divya's gold digger Meme on the SABC to Sopi Muvango. She married former radio presenter Chris Machaba on 27 December 2014 after dating for three years. Sadly, her husband passed away after losing a lengthy battle against cancer in February 2018. The family spokesperson said the star had been diagnosed with cancer for a while and had tried to keep a brave face even when those around him had lost hope. The couple had been married for just three years when Chris passed away. Tolo has kept her late husband's memory alive, often sharing their precious memories with fans on social media. A year after Chris passed away, the actress wrote a heartfelt letter reflecting on life without her husband. The actress described the pain she felt as one that still cuts and burns like a hot rod. Tolo said sleeping alone was very hard and remembers how she would fall asleep on his chest. The actress also said she was very grateful for the love she shared with Chris. Number 2. Simpio Ngema Simpio Ngema is a South African actress who rose to fame for her role as Tuli on the popular SABC to Sopi Muvango. Simpio was married to Rhythm City actor and singer Dumi Masilela. The couple started dating in 2014 and they got married in 2017. Sadly, Dumi was killed in a car hijacking in 2017, just two months after their wedding. He was driving his Golf GTI 7 when he was shot. He managed to get to the hospital but later passed away from the wounds. Simpio was just 27 years old when she became a widow. In 2019, she released a song dedicated to her late husband and she called the song her final goodbye to her eternal crush. Three years after the death of her husband, it seems the actress has finally moved on and found happiness again. In 2020, Simpiwe announced that she was expecting a child with Zimbabwean model Tino Chinyani. She gave birth to a baby boy on 22 June 2020 after keeping the pregnancy a secret. Some people criticized her for announcing the pregnancy on the same date her late husband passed away and called it disrespectful. In the eyes of many, Simpio is too seen as Dumi's widow, but after everything the actress has been through, what matters most is she's finally happy. Number 3. Wiseman Ngube Wiseman Ngube is a South African actor, playwright and director best known for his tearing role as Bonello in the most watched TV show in Mzanzi, Uzalo. Wiseman's wife passed away in 2017, leaving behind their daughter, who was only three years old at the time. The actor promised himself that he would take care of their daughter, who is six years old now. I made a promise that I would do everything in my power to raise Luandle in a godly and responsible way. I don't want her to feel that she is one parent. I give her all the love and make it a point to spend all my free time with her. When asked to share more details on what happened to his wife, Wiseman told the Daily Sun he was not comfortable sharing that part of his life. He however said he's grateful to have his mom and brothers who are helping him raise his daughter. I'm lucky that my mom is still alive. I trust that she will help me raise Luandle into a teenager, the actor said. Number 4. Lerato Sengadi Lerato Sengadi is a South African events coordinator best known as a contestant on the second season of the reality competition Big Brother Africa in 2007. She was the wife of the late award-winning Motswako rapper Double HP. The two were married for two years from 2016 until the rapper passed away in 2018. Double HP had been suffering from depression and had attempted to take his own life three times before finally succeeding in October 2018. After he passed away, Double HP's family denounced Lerato as their daughter-in-law, arguing that the marriage was not legal because the customary marriage process was never completed. During this process, the family banned Lerato from attending the funeral and this saw her unsuccessfully try and stop the funeral at the High Court. 
In April 2020, the Supreme Court ruled in Lerato's favor and declared that she was indeed married to double HP and was therefore his widow. After winning the case, Lerato vowed to finally erect a tombstone for double HP's grave as soon as the COVID-19 national lockdown regulations are lifted. Number 5. Temsima 2 Temsima 2 is a South African actress best known for a recurring role as Petronella on The Queen and SSB on Rhythm City. She was married to her husband for 36 years before he passed away on 20 June 2019. Speaking to the Sowetan, Temsi said her husband went to the local supermarket to buy Mentito to clean the swimming pool and left her in bed because she had not been feeling well. When she woke up two hours later to check up on him, she found him floating in the swimming pool with his body laying face down. She shared that it was an extremely painful experience to find her husband like that, but her two children helped her get through it. People send their condolences to the actress, including the executive producer of Mzanzi Magic's The Queen, Connie Ferguson. Number 6. Ayanda Ngwane Ayanda Ngwane is a South African actress and model. She's popularly known as the manager of her late husband, Sfiso Ngwane, one of South Africa's all-time greatest gospel artists. The couple met when Ayanda was 18 years of age and they got married in 2002. Sfizo passed away in December 2016 due to a kidney problem and he left his wife with two children. However, in July of 2020, Sfizo's other two children from a previous relationship took Ayanda to court claiming that they deserve a share in their father's estate. They also argued that Ayanda had been dishonest so that she could keep everything for herself and the will was invalid. At the time this video was published, the matter was still in court and has not yet been settled. Number 7. Letseho Zulu Letseho Zulu is a South African adventure enthusiast from Johannesburg. She appeared as a contestant on the ETV reality competition Fear Factor South Africa in 2006. She dated motorsport star Gugu Zulu from 2001 and they got married in 2014. They remained married until Gugu's death on 18 July 2016 and they had one daughter together. Gugu Zulu passed away after suffering respiratory problems while trying to reach the summit of Tanzania's Mount Kilimanjaro for a charity linked to the Nelson Mandela Foundation. A year later, Letseho returned and climbed the same mountain in honor of her husband's memory. In 2019, she released a book titled, I Choose to Live Life After Losing Gugu, where she shares her journey. Number 8. Kaise Ngula Kaise is a South African actress and presenter best known as a presenter for Mzanzi Magic's Our Perfect Wedding from 2017 to 2018. She got married to Zimbabwean Farai Sivanda in 2018 and they were blessed with a baby boy. In 2019, just two months before their first anniversary, the presenter and her husband were involved in a serious car accident. She survived, but unfortunately, her husband passed away from the injuries. She says their son, who is two years old now, has kept her going. Since the accident, the media personality occasionally takes to Instagram to remember her husband on their anniversary and most recently on their son's birthday. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos.